Hi everyone, I'm Sean Blackwell, and this is my first Bipolar Awakenings podcast. And what I thought I'd do today is just explain why I wanted to start doing a podcast, okay? Now, for those of you who don't know me, they're not too familiar with my work, I started talking about the spiritual dimension and healing potential of bipolar disorder on YouTube in 2007, right? And back then, I wasn't just sharing my own experience, which I was because I'd been hospitalized in 1997. But I was introducing people to the pioneering work of some really leading edge psychologists and psychiatrists, Dr. Stanislav Grof, Dr. David Lukoff, Dr. Lauren Mosher, Dr. John Weir Perry. You know, I was really referring to their books. And my idea through my videos was that if I found it in their books, it reflected my experience and it was something that people online were sharing with me, then I'd make a video out of it. And I ended up making like 60 videos across, you know, between 2007 and 2012, made a lot of videos. Made a few after that, but that was really the, the heart of the, the time on my YouTube channel, Bipolar Waking Up. 2011, I wrote my book, Am I Bipolar Waking Up?, which gave people more insight into my experience. Uh, but at the same time, even though my work was kind of making a mark out there, you know, I got 25,000 subscribers, which I thought was pretty cool. But I still wasn't changing much in terms of, you know, most people's lives who are dealing with this disorder their whole life. And so based on the ideas that I'd been developing through all my studies and learning from people online, I went out in 2013 and I started to do a private healing retreat with people. Right. And then across the next seven years, I started doing these retreats in Europe, the United States, in Brazil. Through that retreat process, I was able to help a lot of people, got some people off their medications entirely, other people reduced their medications. And, and on the whole, through a 10-day retreat process, I was really just help, able to help people improve their lives in one way or another. After that, or especially near the end of the, this seven-year process, I started to realize that there was a lot that I was doing in retreats that I could actually just be doing with people online. And that way, making the work a lot more efficient, because what happened was I wasn't just working out these uh, theoretical ideas from these pioneering psychologists. I was actually learning a lot about healing, you know, through that retreat process. And one of the things I was learning was I'm working with people. I was working with people on an energetic level, and a lot of that energy for healing was being transferred to me personally, as well as other people involved as well. And um, so eventually I just started working in 2019 with people on an energetic level at a distance. And to be quite honest, I thought energy work, distance work was kind of bullshit and could be taken as really, what's the word I'm looking for, unethical to be working with people with mental disorders in that way. So I started slowly and I actually realized that, hey, I've got something here. This is pretty interesting. And so that's taken me right up till today. So the last decade, 2013 until now, has been really dedicated to the healing work, doing the retreats, doing the on online healing work, and uh, going from there, you know. But in that period, I, I really lost interest in doing YouTube videos. But this year, I felt a little bit different. You know, 2022, I felt like I had had a lot of new experience from this whole retreat process and online healing work process uh, that I wanted to share. Also, met a lot of really interesting people, and I felt like they had voices that I, I think would be interesting for people to hear about. Had a lot of stories from my adventures in Europe and the U.S. and Brazil. You know, I'm doing a lot of traveling. And some new theoretical ideas that I wanted to share as well and go into more detail, you know, with. So there just became this whole range of material that I wanted to share that really didn't lend itself to really intense slideshows, which was what I was kind of known for in the past. I wanted something where I could go into a little bit more detail, getting a little more personal with the people that I'd be interviewing uh, and getting more personal with my own experience. And now I, I just feel like using a podcast format where I could come back and share some of this experience, you know, every week, every couple of weeks. Um, I think I could help, you know, perhaps develop a bit of a culture around healing because one of the things I've learned around, whether it's psychiatry, psychology, even the peer support movement, there really isn't much talk about healing. There really isn't much advice regarding healing being given. To be to be blunt, you know, I've met some people who've gone down that path. 
I've worked with people who've gone down that path in my retreat formats or in distance healing, but that number of people is still pretty small. So I'm hoping that through this podcast um, format that I'll find a way to sort of reach people's hearts a little bit more and to make people realize that, hey, you know what? This is possible. This is a whole new way to do things and get people inspired and excited. So that's about it for me right now. Uh, getting this first podcast out took three or four takes to begin with. Uh, I'm still kind of nervous. I'm nervous about the whole thing. I don't know how it's going to go. But I've got my first interview already done with a guy named Chris Cole, which is already up. I'll be posting it on YouTube soon, soon after this uh, video. And uh, I hope you guys watch. I hope you guys subscribe. And if you're interested in learning more about my work, which I'll be promoting every now and then, you know, on, on my uh, podcast, you can check out my website, bipolarawakenings.com. Oh, and don't forget, everything is going to be available on YouTube but also on Spotify, Google Podcast, Anchor FM. If I can get Stitcher right, it'll be over there. I'm having a little problems with that one. And a few other places I can't remember. Okay. Amazon. That was one. Okay. So that's it. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.